strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side, and there's another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big, powerful punch land. How he gets back to range. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length, give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Right on the button. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. They're certainly getting after it early. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast and so crisp. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice punch there by Anderson. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful knee to the head there. He's the taller fighter. We told you that off the top and certainly used his length well in that situation. Misses with the right hand. Kick to the body by Anderson. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Connects with a right. Try to establish that jab. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice slip to avoid the left. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Big punch land. Ooh. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh! Oh, he got them both to the target very quickly. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Both fighters throwing heat now. Outstanding kick there by Anderson. Round two is next. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty Three, good, five. not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow has managed to land it with so much force. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, stiff jab in the face there. Now doubles up on it. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. The slip and then the counter by Anderson. Straight right hand, no good. Some nice back and forth action here. Whiffs on that offering. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Single collar tie now. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Great turn on that double leg. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 
Anderson's has got full mount now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Anderson's right back to the full mount here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Beautiful punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Back and forth we go here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Anderson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Choi. Oh, man, head kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. Another shot lands upstairs. And that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, strong punch there by Anderson. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. How about that chin? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's very Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch by Anderson. Ooh, what a head kick. Choi's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice. Nice. He lands with the left. Stop waiting. Throw that high kick now. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice straight punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good take. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Good stick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, nice. Wow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, collar tie. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Anderson. Superman punch now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Anderson's knee to the body. That one blocked by the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. 
and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Fourier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. His misses are entertaining. Now, single collar tie here. Pretty significant well to the left side. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Anderson. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. Under two minutes to go. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent raised. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the line? Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Like well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. The Korean Superboy does it again! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration.